Good morning, everyone. It's Kelly here again. And today we are going to be talking about healthy eating. And so, as many of you know, and as I know for myself, with staying home more often, it's really easy for me to be eating more desserts, you know, and wanting to eat sweets and different things. But it's important that we all continue to try and eat healthy um, because it definitely helps our physical body and also helps our mental well-being as well. And so I can't say that I'm not guilty of making extra desserts, but I am trying to make an effort in eating some healthy foods as well. So we posted some information for you this morning about different types of healthy eating. So making sure that you're getting lots of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, fat-free or low-fat, um, dairy products are really good, lean meats, you know, like poultry and fish, getting beans, eggs, nuts, um, trying to have foods that are low in like saturated fats, low in sugars, low in sodium. Those are all really important as well. And um, so today I decided to bring some foods that I like that are a bit more healthy. So banana is one that I try and have every day. And even my daughter, Cora, I try and make sure she has a banana every day. And for some of you who are in that creative writing session that we did with Mike, um, some of you mentioned how bananas are great for potassium. Um, so bananas are definitely a great snack or great to add to any of your meals. I also brought some mixed nuts with me. Um, I'm not a huge fan of these, but my husband Tyler likes them. So I figured I'd show them as an example. And he's certainly been eating them. They're probably down to here now. <laughs> so he's been making good use of them during this Corona time. Um, I brought an egg with me too, um, because eggs are a great meal. Um, and this one is actually a hard boiled egg, which is nice because then I can eat it really easily at any time. So that is definitely an option that you can talk to your family or provider about with, you know, boiling the egg if you need help with that. I brought some low fat Greek yogurt and you guys will see um, that we have some recipes posted today where you can make different um, dips with yogurt for fruits and vegetables um, to make them taste a little more yummy. I also brought some broccoli, which is another thing that I like to eat. Um, even just like steaming the broccoli and putting some like garlic powder on it, really enjoy that. Um, maybe some onion powder too, just to mix it up. A little pepper. I do like some salt, but definitely try and stay low on the salt because I do not want to have too much sodium. And some other things that I brought that I had in the house were some tomatoes. I love tomatoes <laughs> and uh, I could probably eat this whole thing right now. Um, so that's another healthy snack. Um, I brought a pepper. Um, there's all different kinds of peppers that you can find at the store. And so this is definitely a healthy snack that you can have or that you can add to your meal. Avocados. These are um, great for protein. Um, and you can do a variety of things with them. You know, you can even pair them with the tomato and make like a guacamole with some onion. Um, or you can just, you know, eat the avocado with a turkey sandwich even. So avocados are great. Apples are another good one. And one thing that I like to do with apples is I like to put peanut butter on them sometimes. So that's a great way of getting some protein mixed in with your apple. I also brought an orange with me. Orange has some great vitamin C, as does grapefruit. Um, and so these are some other fruits that I enjoy. Um, sometimes grapefruit can be kind of bitter. Um, so, you know, an orange could be a good alternative for that. And then I also brought a pear with me, um, which, you know, is another great fruit to eat and is a good source of fiber. So, as you guys are going through the activities that we have for you today, I would encourage you to be looking at um, just different recipes you know, that you would find that you might want to try to make, you know, healthy snacks or healthy meals. If you guys even want to post pictures of yourself with, you know, your favorite fruit or vegetable, 
or, you know, favorite healthy snack. Um, that would be great just so we can be, you know, sharing our experiences together and continuing to give our friends new ideas um, as we all try to stay healthy. And the last thing I did bring with me was my water bottle. Um, so I try and carry this around with me everywhere. Um, <laughs> Tyler will attest to the fact that I do lose it often in the house, <laughs> but I try to bring it with me because it is so important to stay hydrated. And we have done some reminders lately with the weather getting warmer of how important it is to stay hydrated, but it's also really important for a healthy diet um, to be drinking water and staying healthy. And, you know, for those who don't like water, you know, since it's kind of bland, you know, there are some different flavors you can put in it, but if possible, just normal water is great. And I find that the water bottle is a great way to make sure I'm getting enough water because it's something that I can bring with me wherever I go. So um, staying hydrated is definitely key. And um, exercise, you know, that's the other important piece. You know, if we are eating good, but we're not moving, um, you know, it's just, it's not beneficial. So we need to make sure that we're getting exercise when we can. And so we have some exercise videos for you as well. So I look forward to seeing you guys in your comments. Um, and thanks for checking out another one of my videos. Have a great day.